I mean, doesn't the Quran say that men have authority over women? Well, don't they? I mean, according to your own narrative, men have been running the show. The feminists are asking for their so-called rights from who exactly? Okay, if you didn't have uh, what you call patriarchy, then what you would have is a hell on earth for women. Because clearly, uh, women do not have the power to coerce men, to force men, to make men deal with them this way or that way. If, uh, if you're out somewhere and a man starts to chat you up and you don't want to be chatted up, what do you do? You tell him, I have a boyfriend, yeah. I'm married, and he goes away. You have to conjure up an imaginary man to get him to back off because nine times out of ten, only a man can keep another man in check because men are inherently more dangerous than women. Instead of patriarchy, replace that word with bodyguard. What makes more sense? For you to be my bodyguard or for me to be your bodyguard? Who do you think is more capable of protecting who? From who? If men didn't protect women, who would? Why, men would do whatever they wanted. And isn't your bodyguard uh, responsible for you? Shouldn't you listen to him if he says, for example, don't go here, don't go there, or um, let's take this route instead of that route because it's safer? Isn't that authority? Yeah. But he's doing it for you. Would you uh, feel resentment about that authority? That's irrational. Look, you cannot dismiss the importance of physicality, human physicality. We're physical beings. Technology does not level the field the way you think it does. And if you were walking in the street uh, by yourself late at night and you see a man coming towards you, uh, which one of the two of you is more likely to be afraid? Who's going to be scared of who? Me. But see, you in the West have confused this. The feminists have confused this. The power imbalance. Uh, that literal physical power imbalance. That imbalance in the ability to coerce and exert force and to be violent. It's just a fact and a reality of the power imbalance between men and women. But your culture uh, is in love with power. It's in love with force. It's in love with violence. So to you, whoever has the greater capacity for violence, whoever has uh, the greater capacity for uh, being dangerous, then that person is better. The one who can exert his will is better. Whoever has the power to force people to do something is better. And whoever is weaker is less. It's because you admire power so much and you admire force and you admire the ability to coerce uh, that you find yourself resenting that men have authority over women or the idea, that the concept of men having authority over women because you think it's unfair. You think that women are being deprived. But remove that authority and see how deprived you'll be. Remove that authority and you will be in danger. You will be deprived of your safety. You'll be deprived of your security, your freedom, and maybe your life. You invent a concept, this concept of equality, and treat it as sacred, and you believe in it religiously, uh, with religious devotion, and you demand that everyone believes in it, and no one can dare doubt the uh, reality and the uh, holy truth of the concept of equality, even though all evidence that you are exposed to on a daily basis disproves uh, that concept. So you'll make fun of us, and you'll look down on us, and you'll insult our intelligence for believing in something that you say we don't have any proof for. Meanwhile, you're believing in something for which all of the proof that exists disproves it. You see how incoherent your thinking process is?